I really like that it was easily accessible. Um, the fact that we didn't have to pay any fees um, was a huge part of the appeal for us. And the location is ideal. The space is perfect. Grace is very excited to get team shirts. She loves the idea of looking and feeling like a team. And these shirts in particular, she showed me after she put it on, she ran to me and she said, is this indigenous? And it just made her, I could just see the pride in her eyes. So the shirt's a hit for sure. Kids start off uh, with some mobilization, so some mobility work, teaching them certain movements, how to stretch their body and get them ready for sessions. And then they go through some physical literacy. So teaching them how to squat, how to jump, how to move their feet. That way it preps them better for before they work on the ball. After they've done all their physical, they go on to some ball mastery, ball manipulation and technical movements. And then we finish off with a fun game. To have a space where they can can play a sport that's you know warm safe and free is like free is the biggest thing i think any kind of organized sports anything is usually the cost is a huge factor for a lot of kids to be able to access it so it's it's awesome to have this to do in the winter i myself came from a uh, community where you know we didn't have many opportunities so to be able to give back to communities who need it is for sure a great feeling uh, being able to do that from a physical and technical point of view and having St. Anthony come in and be able to provide again a team environment for these kids in the future is huge. Coming together with St. Anthony Soccer Club to be honest it was really easy finding the right physical coaches that we have in, on staff and then finding the right technical coaches that St. Anthony has on staff we've been able to collaborate and provide these guys with the best coaching.